Welcome, everybody, to what's happening at Paul McGovern Jr.'s desk. So the reason I wanted to shoot this video today was because uh, I was in the process of editing. I was in the mix of it. I was editing a new Michael Henry sketch. I was editing a, a video for this co hilarious comedian, Nikki Paris. I was editing a music video. I had so many editing projects. It's too many. But I'm... But I, then I had to update my computer because, of course, if you have an Apple product, if you have Mac computers, they're always updated. They always need to update. So I'm updating to Big Sur Mac OS X. So in the meantime, I said, hey, I got some time. I should shoot a video. I haven't shot a video for my YouTube in a bit. Uh, let's see what's happening at the good old at the Paul McGovern Studios desk. Let's see what's happening. So here's a little tour. This is, this is literally in the mix of me doing stuff. So I didn't have time to clean up. I didn't have time to do much, so you're seeing what you're seeing. Let me give you a little tour. All right, so we're work from uh, my right to the left, or maybe it's left to right for you. I don't know. I'm still figuring out that stuff personally. But um, we got over here. We got Baby Yoda. He gives me support. I don't know if you can see this. I think you can. He gives me support. Grogu for any of those Star Wars nerds out there. You know who you are. Grogu. Oh, looks like it's coming back soon. Um, we got, I got some nature made multi for him. Because if you want to have strong bones and a strong heart, gotta take vitamins for yourself. Gotta take vitamins. <sighs> what else we got over here? I always, whenever I'm editing, especially if it's late at night and I want to just kind of relax and, you know, just really get in my zone I light a candle from Chesapeake Bay soothing comfort oh yeah that was good no I do though I actually love lighting candles right at it kind of really gets me in the zone got my Bose headphones which, funnily enough, I don't always wear when I edit. You'd think I would, but for some reason, these are the Bluetooth headphones, and they don't really uh, work well with Final Cut Pro, at least from my experience. If anybody else is out there uh, has that issue, let me know if you've been able to fix it. It, it. it slows down the program using the Bluetooth headphones. I don't know if it's because of the audio delayed or something, but it doesn't work as well. So I actually have to use these old school wired headphones that... Uh, are very effective. It just it kind of restrains me. I can't move around when it. Sometimes I'm editing, I like to kick it back and it slide forward, do all this crazy stuff. But because you know I'm in I'm in the in the zone with it, with the edit. Uh, I got this can of coffee right here, bulletproof. Open that up. Now I should do something. Um. Yeah, this is where I keep all my memory cards from all the shoots. So I try to keep them in there so I know they're always in the little blue box if I'm looking for a memory card. A Ray-Ban case. Because if you've seen my video from Miami, <laughs> you know I like Ray-Bans. Um, what else we got here? We got all my hard drives. So if you if you are always wondering, hey, how does where does he keep all this legendary footage of Michael and Jimmy and... Of all his videos. Where does he keep that footage? Does he still have it? Where'd it go? It's in all these guys right here. Hard drives. Always got to get yourself a good hard drive. Backup footage. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Uh, there's some great videos on hard drives on YouTube. I'm probably not the best person to tell you which exactly is the best hard drive for you. But uh, I have a lot of hard drives. So I tell you, get an external hard drive if you don't have one. To back up photos, videos, anything like that. Um, I, this is new to addition to my desk. I have a, it's a little computer riser. This has been money. Gives me a nice, a nice little upper angle on that. Raises up my computer a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. It's been nice. I, and gives me some more desk space, which I've been wanting for, for years. So when I saw this at, uh, uh, Crate and Barrel, I think it was, what? Was it? No, the container store. I had to get it. Right here is my another motivational support. I got a penguin from the Galapagos Islands. I went to the Galapagos Islands when I was 21, and I uh, snorkeled with penguins. It was great. I actually I should uh, 
talk more about that with people. But it was awesome. I was there for two weeks. That is from the Galapagos. Uh, oh, duct tape. No, I, I use this sometimes on sets, sometimes to repair stuff. Sometimes, uh, you know, just because I'm bored and I like to play with sticky stuff. You know what I mean? And, uh, oh, got these uh, blue light glasses for the late night. Oh, baby. You know it. So they got that. What else we got here? Got my battery just because I'm shooting a sketch in two hours. So I got this charge my battery right here. Got to charge your batteries, guys. It's just you can't, in order for the camera to work. And um, besides all that, that's what I got. This is this this has been an, a, a tour of Paul McGovern Jr.'s desk. I got some exciting stuff over here. I, I don't know if I hit everything on the nose that I have. But if you see anything on this desk that I didn't bring up, feel free to ask me in the comments. Be like, hey, what was that on your desk? And I'll tell you. But uh, I always try to keep a clean desk because I feel like a clean desk means a clean mind and you're ready to go. Um, but, you know, sometimes yeah, if you if you work at home, or you know, you know how it is. Or if you have a little home office that you do your art or create creative moments in, sometimes it gets messy. <laughs> Sometimes it gets messy for more reasons than one. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, so just you got You got to keep it on lockdown. Keep it clean, and uh, always have your burn relief aloe by your side. Thank you guys so much. I have a video coming out this week with me and Michael Henry talking about hot homo summer, and the recap and the process of how we made it and what went into it. And I hope and I think you guys will really like that video. So if you uh, loved that series, Hot Homo Summer, because who, who didn't love that series? It was so funny. Uh, check that one out later this week. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, if you saw something on this desk that uh, you're curious about, thank you.